Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today uh, we discuss uh, subtractors uh, using the universal case. All right, and out of which first in this video today uh, we we discuss the half subtractors, the half uh, subtractors uh, using universal gates. All right. Uh, we've seen the half adders and the full adders previously, and today uh, we discuss subtractors. All right. So first, let's see. We discuss them through the NAND gates. All right. Through NAND gates, half subtractors using NAND gates only. Okay. So you know what is the, 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 the difference in case of half subtractors? The difference is an A exclusive or with B. And borrow is what? Borrow is A complement and with B. Let's say borrow I represent with the output, okay? So now we need we need basically five or six gates to represent them. Uh, so let's say let's say we, we draw it, okay? Uh, so you draw it with me and then we, we see how is this working as 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 the as the half adder all right all right so this would be similar to that uh, a little similar to the, uh, the, the 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 adder circuit okay so we have a we have an we have a B to, to this to this gate and we have a B to this gate also we have an A to this gate and we have an A to this gate also all right now the output is taken like this this is the output and is given to these two gates now the output of these two are again named together all right now so now we have a final output over here and we see what is it okay so we we, we go through stepwise okay so over here we have an a, a b whole complement all right now over here we will have an a ended with an a b whole complements complement and here we have b ended with a b's complement whole complement all right, so now you open this thing up so you have an A complement plus AB. And you open this thing up so you have B complement plus AB. You know how to open them, all right? Over here, they're both nanded together. So you have what? You have, a, uh, have an A complement plus AB into B complement plus AB. And a whole complement okay so now you have the distributive law a plus b into a plus c a plus b c so i can write a b plus a complement b complement all right whole complement now this is the exclusive nor operation so i can write a exclusive nor b whole complement and you know the exclusive nor's complement is the exclusive or operation now which means over here we have the difference as the output all right over here okay all right now what do what do we do for 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 the for the borrow okay so for the borrow we need an a complement b all right uh, over here we have the a b okay whole complement which will not work if we give it to an and operation but now over here have a look if we give this to an end okay so this will work this is let's say given to an end gate and like this so i believe that this will work and over here we will have the borrow output now for borrow output i i, I prove it okay how is this so we have what we have the b complement plus a b over here now this b complement plus a b uh, we have what a whole complement to it. B complement plus AB 
into B complement plus AB. All right, and a whole complement. Now the De Morgan's law. It's A complement plus B complement. So you have what B complement plus AB whole complement plus B complement plus AB whole complement. All right. So now you have an A or with A. All right, or an A complement or with A complement is the same thing again. Zero plus zero is a, is a zero, and one plus one is a one. All right. So you can write I can write it a single time. B complement plus A B whole complement. Now what do we have? Applying the De Morgan's law again. So we have uh, B complements whole complement uh, into a B whole complement. All right. Now the complement uh, of complement B. All right. It will be B. And in to apply the De Morgan's law again over here. So you have an A complement plus B complement. Okay. Now you have multiplied it inside. So you have an A complement B plus B times B complement. Now we know B times B complement is zero. So you have an A complement B, which is the borrow. All right. So the properties that I used in this uh, proof are A plus A is equal to A and another is A into A complement is a zero. So that's about the half subtractors using the NAND gates, okay? Okay, now the next is what? The next is the half subtractor using the NOR gates only. Using the NOR gates only, okay? Uh, so now uh, we draw the circuit again. So over here we have a NOR gate, let's say, like this. And we have the, another NOR gate like this. We have a NOR gate over here. We have one over here. And we have another one over here. All right, now, now what inputs are given to each gate? So we have a look now. So let's say the input A is represented by this blue color. We have it like this. This A is given to this gate number two and gate number one, okay? The, the input B is given to this gate number three and this gate number one. Now the output of this gate is given, the gate number one's output is given to gate number two and gate number three. And the output of gate number two and three are given to gate number four. And the output of gate number four is now given to gate number five. And finally over here we have one output. Now what is this output? So we'll see, okay? So we go through a stepwise, we have over here, we have an A plus B whole complement, which means over here we have A complement times B complement. All right, okay, now what do we have over here? We have an A uh, plus A complement, B complement, and then a whole complement. Now you have the De Morgan's law. So this is A complement into B complement. Uh, which would be what A complement, B complements, whole complement and Okay, now what do you do again the De Morgan's law? So you have the A complement and you have uh, uh, This A plus B All right now A into A complement is what it's uh, we have an A into A complement plus A complement times B. Now A into A complement is a zero, which means that this gate's output we have A complement B, which is the borrow, okay? So we have the borrow, we have the borrow over here. All right, now this was A complement B. Now for this gate, we have, you have what? You have a B plus A complement, B complement, and then a whole complement. So again, in the same way, we have an A complement into B complement. 
and again De Morgan's law so you have a B complement into A plus B and over here you have an A B complement plus B times B complement is zero so you have what you have an A times B complement is that fine now the output of this gate for the output of this gate let's say this is first second third fourth gate fourth so the output I write it over here let's say fourth gate okay so what would be this it would be an a complement b a complement b plus an a b complement and a whole complement so this is the exclusive uh, or operation so so you do what you have an a uh, plus uh, exclusive or b whole complement and now you know that the uh, complement of the uh, ex uh, exclusive or operation it's what it's the exclusive nor operation so you have this output as A exclusive NOR with B. So over here you have an A exclusive NOR with B. Alright. Now ex exclusive NOR with B. So if we need the borrow, we, need, we have the borrow as A exclusive OR with B. Okay. So if you give it to an AT gate, uh, if you give it to a NOT gate, so it will invert it, which means the you know, the, uh, the complement of uh, uh, exclusive OR is what? It's exclusive NOT and the complement of exclusive NOT is exclusive OR. Alright. So, and we know that a, 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 the, a single NOR gate can be used as a NOT gate. So, you give it uh, to this. And over here, finally, you have an A exclusive OR with B. Which is what? Which is the, the, the difference operator, alright? So over here we have the difference, which is A exclusive OR with B. Okay, and if you don't know how is this uh, working as a NOT gate, so you watch the previous videos on universal gates and you'll understand it, everything. And, the, and those who are coming from the start with me, so they, they know how they're done, okay? Alright, so that's all for today. In the next lecture, we do the full subtractors using the universal gates. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.